Yeda, a very important part of a man's health is his self-esteem. And self-esteem is always tested in your friendships because your friends are the ones who will always try to put you down in a social situation. It's a tribal thing. Every social group has an unspoken pecking order and life is a competition to see who is the alpha male. So whether you are talking about the Australian cricket team or what's happening in the Middle East, winning an argument can be terribly important for your self-esteem. So what do you do? Well, don't waste your time with schoolboy debating tricks or actually knowing what you are talking about. There is a much quicker and more enjoyable way to make sure you will win any argument. All you have to do is sleep with all your friends' wives. To do bad things, feign a lot, ergo, Jerry Adams. There is no more powerful comeback to a devastatingly well-argued demolition of your views on the problems in Northern Ireland than to say... Ergo yourself. And that's why you're completely wrong. Oh, yeah? Well, I slept with your wife. And she loved it. Of course, you may not even have to use this debating weapon of mass destruction. Just knowing that the person you're arguing with doesn't have a clue that you've balked his wife will give you a very powerful feeling of superiority, sure to boost your self-esteem. But beware, there is a remote possibility that they may come back with the old, oh yeah, well I've slept with yours. So to make sure of your ground, make sure also that you slept with their daughter, or at least give them a good tongue pash. Why didn't somebody tell me about this? Excuse me? That's all there is to it, men. A guaranteed and fun way to boost your self-esteem. Bana. Mmm. Gin. This quiche is a triumph.